In this video, Ardland gives us five things producers need to know. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Deck Transmission, and today the big question is back. Yeah, we uh, had a little break over the summer, and just because of oh, kids being at home, homeschooling, summer holidays. It was just a massive drain on the time and the resources for our small little business. So you had to cut some back things back and one of those was making YouTube videos, unfortunately. Um, but it's back now and we've got more series coming back and I'm planning more today, so it's just gonna be good. So there's gonna be plenty of YouTube content coming right at you. Today, I chat to Ardland um, and he gives us his five things producers need to know. If you have listened to the pod, my podcast, it's part of that and I kind of but if you haven't listened to the, there's a fuller chat with Artland in the comments below. There's a link. Go and listen to the podcast with him. He chats so much about making albums and singles and how he's worked on his album, Mr. Good, um, and plenty of other stuff, live streaming and things like that. So go and, watch, go and give that a listen. It's on the podcast. Today, we're going to go through his five things producers need to know. Let's jump in and see what he has to say. Let's go. First, the first thing is have fun. Don't think about anything else. Don't think about becoming big. Just have fun. Feel it. Just feel it, feel it, feel it. Um, second thing is if you want to, if you, if you want to like uh, get to a goal of like how you, how you want your sound or how do you want to make a track sound, like obviously always get a track that you really like and just try and try and dissect it and transcribe that track in your mind and try and get to it. And three, um, you know eq eq is your best friend <laughs> if you really want to get something sound good just eq everything <laughs> accordingly um you know don't it's 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 this is honestly one of the most important ones for me because when it comes to eqing and like mix downs and everything this is what i learned through an album is make sure you keep your own integrity because like when it comes to the mix down of a track like a lot of people don't realize this, but like when you, when someone, when you give your track to someone to like mix it down, they're mixing it down to a standard stage to a standard point where it's like, okay, this is supposed to sound like this. But like, I feel like when some, when the mix downs change, it also changes your sound in some ways. Mm -hmm. And I think the, I think that's, this one is like, I think the most important one is to, you know, own the integrity of your mix downs, you know, learn, learn, learn it inside out and, don't assume that you know someone else can make it sound better after you're done with your track just learn it it's so much better mm. and the second thing is um you don't need any hardware to make good music and i know that a lot of people said this before yeah you can make you can probably make it the craziest track with just you know ableton and some soft sense so you know don't just don't go buying out like a giant 808 for 5,000 or like an 808 for $5,000 when you can just get samples of it, you know? Um, and, and then number, the and number five, send your music to your friends and stuff and, you know, always get feedback. Don't take every feedback literally, you know, some people have their own preferences, you know, mm. just take everything with kind of a grain of salt, you know, because I've learned that like when people, when I send my music, when I used to send my music out to people and like, friends you know they give me like such a big feedback but sometimes you know that clouds over your own sound you know at the end of the day just just you know know if if your gut's telling you this is good then it's good you know yeah. like if i'm dancing to this track that i'm making then i know it's good then i know it's it's actually working so so you know just trust your gut basically that's that's what i would say i hope you enjoyed those five things he really packed them didn't he which was your favourite? Drop it in the comment below. Um, let me know which one, you, which one you got the most value from. Which one that you weren't doing, or you need to start adding to your arsenal of of knowledge. Please drop it in the comments below. As ever, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be pushing out more and more content now, and it really does mean the world to me. I love little little, little extra followers. So thank you for everyone that has subscribed. But if you're not subscribed, go and do it. Go and do it. Smash the bell so you get notified first. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.